hello everyone this is mukesh kumar and this is my first video recording for the ios beginners to build table view controller in objective c college right so i have opened the xcode here and we need to click on this option create a new xcode project right so here is the pop up window where we need to choose the template for the new project under the ios tab we will choose single view application and then click on next here is the product name we need to enter and uh, we can name it as table view demo and we will choose the language objective c and rest of the fields will be as it is then click on next and this is prompted for the path where you want to save your project so I will choose the desktop and then create so our project is built and go to the main storyboard here click on this now this is the view controller which comes by default and these two files are associated with this controller so here in our case we do not have need of this view controller so select this like this as I did and just hit the delete button to delete this controller right and we don't need these two files so I will delete this by clicking the double tap and delete button make sure you need to click on move trash move to trash now our main storyboard is empty now so we will search here this is the object library we will where we will search table view controller and just simply drag to the storyboard right this is our table view with the prototype cell and in the attribute inspector we will click on this option is initial view controller to make this entry point as initial next step is we need to create the class for this controller so just click file new and then file so here we will choose the class cocoa touch class and then click on next and here we will use the subclass first as ui table view controller so ui table view controller language is objective c and its name we will use by default as it is so click on next and this is the project path so don't change it just click on create so there are the two files created right and we need to associate or link up with this controller so select your controller and go to the identity inspector and type the class name just you have created so it's table view controller hit the enter button so now this class is associate with, associated with your controller right next step is there is one issue we will resolve this later right so in the table view controller file uh, so now what we need to do is we need to add two protocols one is UI table view data source and another one is ui table view delegate these two protocols we need because some of the methods we need to define which is already predefined in these two protocols so next uh, we need to move dot m file here you can see these are the predefined methods which is included in that protocol just we added so first of all we will create an array to display the number of items 
so array name is we are taking devices and this is the definition of NS array within the block of at the rate interface and we will define the NS array that is devices in the viewed load method and just delete this comment portion and here we will, I will type devices equals to and its item is item one is let's say first is iPhone and let's copy it we will take five items and second item is let's say iPad second is iPod third is iMac and fourth one is not sorry this is fifth one iWatch and the last one we are taking iTV also but it's semicolon so this is the syntax to declare an array with the items and now we don't need this method so just delete this and this is the table view data source method here it is uh, showing an issue warning incomplete implementation return the number of sections so in our case we will return number of section is one and just delete this to remove the error because we have implemented it means we have returned the value now and in this case we will return the number of items of the devices to represent the number of rows so I will simply write the name of the array and dot count so that the number of items will be counted and return its integer value um, so let's say uh, there are six items so it will return the six value so now just let this showing the warning and uncomment the this method cell for row at index path this is the main method where we will implement the code to show the array items so yeah before doing that here is a, a table view dq reusable cell with identifier so i have not given anywhere any identifier to a cell so just uh, before for doing this go to the main storyboard select the cell just like this this up, this should be appears otherwise you can make sure that your cell is selected so you can uh, select this and go to the identity inspector here is the identifier and you can name it as you want in my case I'm taking it as cell and press enter going back to the dot m file and here i will use at the rate within the double quotes capital c e double -L cell it is case sensitive so make sure you have uh, you have written the exact alphabets right and next here i will use cell dot text label where I will print my arrays dot text property equals to name of the array is devices and within the square brackets we will type index path dot row right and put it semicolon so this is our code to represent in the number of rows and uh, yeah that's that's the whole process to build the table view controller and choose the simulator iphone 7 you can also run on the iphone 7 plus but uh, normally i will choose iphone 7 so simply this is the button to run the simulator i'm clicking on this and let's see what is the output so waiting for the simulator let's check the status yeah it is building table view demo compiling two of two storyboard files yeah build succeeded okay so simulator is started 
taking a little bit time. <coughs> Sorry. Let's see what will be the result here. Oops, taking so much time. Yeah. It is almost almost done. Yeah. Boom. This is your result. So this is our final result but here you can find some uh, clashing with the networks and your item so removing this means uh, it can be removed by following these steps just go back to the main storyboard and you need to click on your table view controller like this and just go to the editor of menu option and in that you need to embed in navigation controller so there will be a navigation controller embed with your existing controller so like this as you can see it will embed it like this so now you can stop and run it again so your clashing with the items will disappear and uh, your result will look uh, perfectly so let's wait for the output it is successfully built and uh, our output is like yeah this is the correct format so there is no clash in as you can see so by using a navigation controller there is a bar added Right, so thank you guys if you like my video please click like button and don't forget to share this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much